Every night, Hong Kong's iconic skyline stars in its own show, a spectacle of lasers and steel in one of the most densely populated places on Earth. Less than 20 kilometers away, another curtain opens to reveal a natural world often forgotten in the dark. We're in Xingmen Country Park. In the daytime, this is an area very popular for hikers, but at nighttime, that's when the creatures come out. What are you hoping it will find tonight? I'm hoping to find a couple of snakes and any other aquatic creatures. Leading our nocturnal safari, Hong Kong British educator and photographer Lawrence Hilton. In the darkness of night, Hilton has captured images of birds like this quizzical collared scops owl, insects like the atlas moth, and snakes like this white-lipped pit viper. My favorite are, are snakes and spiders. However, I try and go for anything that I can get my camera up against. <laughs> Hilton says he photographs the animals as he encounters them with minimal impact to them or the environment. Oh, they might come out. That's okay. So we're on our way to the stream? Yeah, we are. And looking for snakes along the way. Wandering past water buffalo at rest, we encounter warty newts at play. Oh yes, right there, two of them. A huntsman spider shows off its mysterious beauty as a monkey watches from above. It takes patience and a passion for every creature, big and small. Watch your step. Trucking in the dark is not easy. You have to watch your feet and always keep your eyes open. We have relatively pristine streamways, which is quite rare for Hong Kong. Also, it is far away enough from civilization that wildlife can live without too much disturbance from us. Hong Kong is home to an astonishing array of wildlife, with many creatures emerging only at night. Some 40% of the territory is protected parkland, but here and around the world, poaching and urbanization are destroying safe havens. We have lost on average almost 70% of uh, our wildlife populations uh, since the 1970s. And that by itself tells you we are not doing too well protecting the planet globally. At the end of this century, it's estimated up to 33 million hectares of natural habitat will be lost as a result of urban development. That's more than the size of the U.S. state of New Mexico. Lauren says his mission is to promote conservation through photography. We have a lot of trekkers who visit this area and fear of snakes and fear of the unknown makes people do silly things. And hopefully someday in the future, everyone can just enjoy nature. Nearing midnight, we spot a rare Futsing wolf snake non-venomous, nocturnal, and extremely rare in Hong Kong. Bearing witness to the richness of nature in the backyard of a global metropolis. <laughs> Havens for wildlife that could be found in our urban backyard are beautiful and they deserve to be protected. And the students here in Hong Kong they're doing just that by raising awareness, learning, education, even engaging in beach and trail cleanups. From Hong Kong, all the students here at Harrow Hong Kong like to wish you a happy culture.